Hello, it's Cassie here bringing you the Friday devotional. Before we begin, let's start with this week's memory verse. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let everything in me bless his holy name. Let my whole being bless the Lord and never forget all his good deeds. Psalm 103 verses 1 through 2. For today's devotional, we are going to look at Romans 12 and see what it can teach us about handling conflict. Let's read Romans 12, 2 through 21. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in, according, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we, though many, form one body and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the graces given to us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, then do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spirit, spiritual fevers serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans is one of the most thorough teachings of Paul because he, he was writing to people he had never met. He had to explain who he was and why they should listen to his teachings then clearly define what the gospel message means for the believer. He also wrote to them in light of their situation, in which the exiled Jews were now being allowed to return to Rome, throwing together two very different groups of new believers. We had the Masonic Jews, the Messianic Jews, and the Gentile Christians. To say that they were there was a conflict would be kind of an understatement. The theme that God wants to reconcile the whole world to himself, not just Israel, is woven throughout the epistles. And because of that truth, we should be reconciled to one another. Because of the gospel of Jesus and the transforming power of his death and resurrection, we are now capable of living the way that God intended for us to live. So let's ask some questions. Why would someone test and approve God's will if God's will is perfect? What does it mean to test it? What does it mean in verse five that each member belongs to all the others? How is this playing out in your life? When explaining that love must be sincere, we see two themes. We see a guide for avoiding conflict and a guide for going through conflict. Let's look at those for a minute. A guide to avoiding conflict. We see in these verses to honor one another above ourselves, to live in harmony with one another, to be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If possible, live at peace. 
and we see a guide for going through conflict. Be patient in affliction. Bless those who persecute you. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Do not take revenge. Today and through this weekend, think through these questions. What does this say about conflict in the life of a believer? And what does it reveal about the will and character of God? Join me in prayer. God, we have so much going on in this world. In a time of a pandemic and in a year of voting, matters are at kind of a head and people are angry and frustrated and don't know where to go with that. Lord, teach us as Christians to show a different path, one of peace and tranquility. Lord, help us to be a guiding light in these troubled times. In personal conflict and struggle, Lord, help me to have a sweet tongue. Lord, give me words of honey that I may be a shining light for, of Jesus to my community, family, and friends. Lord, we ask this all in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, until Monday, or actually we'll see some of you on Sunday, keep calm and carry God.